Hello and welcome to rchacker.com Alright, today I'm going to do an FPV flight with my mini tricopter So, I've got all my gear set up here I've got here my, uh, my ground station which is uh, custom built oh, The exposure is really bad here but, but um, you can see there I've got the Underneath there, I've got the 5.8 gigahertz modules. I've got two of those, and it's hooked up with an Arduino, and then a prototyping board and an LCD screen on the front there. I've got two fans. I'll try and get the shade there. I've got two fans on there to keep it cool, and a um, little um, skew planner wheel antenna, home built as well. Now, I have. I've modified these receivers so they they instead of doing the normal I think it's the normal eight channels they'll do 24 channels now so I get I get the full range of spectrums like previously there was a big gap in the middle it would do the 5.7 gig and then and then about um, around 5.9 gig with the, with the four channels on either side and with a big gap in the middle but now I've, I've modified this so because I've modified the receiver modules, I get the full 24 channels, which is which the chipset allows, and that's allowed me to tune the frequency I'm using to the antenna rather than the other way around. Now, anyway, moving on, I've, as before, I've got my tricopter there; she's all ready to go, and um, my radio. So, um, let's do it. I'll just show you the flying area. I don't have. A flat flying area. I've, this is an orchard. I've, I've got some fairly good visibility from here, and I'm not going to do the flight fully FPV. I'm going to take off line of sight, and then I'm going to put the glasses on, then fly around. That's what I did the first time with my flying wing, and I flew around this area. And yeah, it's pretty awesome, eh? It's, it, that was pretty awesome, and it's been a while since I've done it. So um, I'll just hook everything up. Oh yes, and. And of course, I've got the, I've got the fat sharks. So um, I'll probably do a re review on these later. All right, so I'm going to pop this on the tripod and let's go. Actually, I, I thought I'd also show you the boot up sequence of my. Uh, it's actually a diversity control, a diversity receiver. I only got the one um, skew planner antenna on it, and the other one's just a dipole. But um, I'll just show you how it boots up. Uh, uh, the power here. Sorry, I've got the power here, and that uh, that, that basically shares power with my um, radio here. So I'll just plug that in. Now, now we can see it's um, my LCD display there. That says it's on uh, frequency 5725 megahertz, and that's the RSSI signal on each um, antenna. And the arrow shows which which um, which one it's patching the video signal through. Now it, it is actually I've got a bit of a menu system on here, so I can manually select the receivers as well. And I'll go back to diversity mode there. I can also manually select the frequencies and it also does scanning as well so it'll scan by default it turns on and it'll scan through the frequencies and find a strong strong signal so I don't have to um, if I'm using different frequencies on different models I don't have to mess around so um, yeah excuse the bad camera work there so um she's raring to go so let's give it a go bingo are you gonna help what's that what's that what's that where's Pip Alrighty, he's helping today. So, I'll put the camera back on the tripod and we'll go for it. Okay, we had some slight technical issues there. The, um, the little jumper that was on my receiver fell off, so it went out of, um, of uh, combined PPM mode. So I've, I've soldered that back together. It took me a while to figure out that one. Right, auto levels on. Oh 
yeah, and we're FPVing Inga Leaders. I wish I, could, I wish you could see this. I haven't got my DVR recorder yet, but... Struggling a bit in the wind. See if I can bring it in. That is very difficult to even see where I am here. I oh, know I'm getting low now. With this auto level, it makes it very easy. You know that if you're, in, if you're not sure what your orientation is, well, hey, you just let go. What's that, Finger? What's that? This is right. I'm going to go out over the canyon here. I've got a... Whoa, I can feel the wind. Oh, oh, wow! Oh, man, that is... Beautiful. I've got a sheer cliff, cliff at the end of the orchard here, and I'm just oh, I'm losing reception on my it's my FR skies stuff. Give me a bit of a warning. I can see Inga sitting quietly behind, beside me. I figure, I think I'm going to do lots of practice like this. Let's fly over that cliff again. It is magic. I can fly around and I'm looking straight down over the... Got a beautiful river down there. I've actually ordered... I've ordered some stuff from uh, Boxtech. I've got a DVR recorder coming. So, oh, a little, a little bit of buffeting there. 
Yeah, it does twitch a bit on when you're descending. means my battery's starting to get low. I'm drawing a bit of extra current with the, with the FPV gear on board, but um, man, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with this. This is just amazing. The, the experience is, is um, you know, it's pretty cool. All right. Time for a landing. I'm gonna to have to take these goggles off. Hey! I got it. How good was that? Shut this baby up. So, <laughs> there you go, FPV, um, yeah, I can't describe it, it's like, oh, I don't know if you can see, have I got the shakes, have I got the shakes, yeah, a little bit, yeah, that was really brilliant, I've got, I got to change, I think, I think the, um, the contrast on the camera was a bit, a bit funny I got I got to do the white apparently you can set the white balance on these I don't know how long the memory lasts on them whether well, they got a backup battery but the, the color was really bad it, it was almost black and white but I, I know from playing around with this camera this is the um, Sony super had 720 line by the way um, I know by playing with that that you can get set the white balance and, and it looks really nice um, that there was no jittering out of that motor and yeah flying around with that auto level on is just oh man it's too easy it, it, it really is um, I'm gonna continue doing a bit more practice with that with that method I think um, that KK2 with that all auto level is just amazing uh, so um, yeah big thumbs up to all the gear I've got on here so uh, I'm stoked <laughs> I'm absolutely stoked. So I will, um, guys, look, please subscribe and uh, please like as well. I, I think it's I think it's down here somewhere. So please like and I'll put a subscribe thing on here and stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll have more stuff for you and some actual recordings from this when I get the mail in a week or two. So um, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mark and rchacker.com. Ciao. So yeah, I, I should also point out here, I'm, I'm running solo today, so I'm, I'm home alone. All I've got is the two dogs. Tasha, Pinga, what's that? Where's Pip? Go get him. Where's Pip? They're here to help. And... Right, take three. And I've muffed it again.